One of the things that I have noticed for years is the phenomena of what I call Ramadan Muslims. There are some people who are really only really Muslim in Ramadan. Although actually even when it comes to Ramadan, I don't know how really they are Muslim. And you see, during the rest of the year, they don't fast, they don't pray. They re really make no ibadah at all. But in Ramadan, suddenly, the girl, she puts on hijab, the guy, he starts to grow his beard. Uh, they start to pray five times a day. And then this, this, I don't exactly know what to call it. We should call it maybe this event of Taraweeh. Because... To call it the actual Taraweh prayer, I don't think that's fair. Because this is really a joke, what, it, what happens. And we see the people gather in the masajid, they gather in the mosques, and the Taraweh prayer commences. And what do we find? We find the desperation, the hurry to fit 20 rakah into 45 minutes. 20 rakah into 45 minutes. Not only that, but within the month of Ramadan, before Laylatul Qadr, they think the Imam has to recite the whole of Quran. So what do we get? Something like this. And then, raku, bow. Up, down, up, down, up, down. It's like aerobics. It's like, you know, you might as well go to the gym. Because, is this prayer? Is this salah? Is this why we are supposed to be making taraweh? We just think if we go to the masjid and we make some movements and we listen to some noise, this is prayer? This is what Allah wants from us? But this is how the Muslims are these days. They think, I will just go to the masjid, I'll quickly fit the... And if the imam, subhanAllah, if the imam was to take a little bit more time to recite the Qur'an a bit slowly, so you could actually hear some of the words and take 15 minutes longer, you'll see the people all complaining. All complaining. Because this is all it has become. The religion of Islam has become a series of rituals, empty rituals. People who don't understand the meaning, the purpose. Of course, the Sahaba, when they would pray Taraweh, they would pray the whole night and they would finish just enough time to pray, to go and eat the breakfast before Fajr. That's it. But we... We're trying to fit 20 rakah into 45 minutes. Is this what is the purpose of the taraweh? Is this what it is for? I don't think so. I don't think that's what it's for. So we find this empty ritual and the fasting of Ramadan. You see, the month of Ramadan begins and then it ends. And the person is not any different at the end of Ramadan than they were in the beginning. After Ramadan has finished, they go back to doing all the same things that they were doing before. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He told us in the Quran that Ramadan has a purpose. That there is a reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He prescribed Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed Ramadan, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That you may learn taqwa. After Ramadan, you, during Ramadan and afterwards, you're supposed to get something from it. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that there are some people who get nothing. There are some people who get nothing from their prayers, except they get tired. And they get nothing from their fasting except they get hungry and thirsty. Yes. There are some people who get nothing from their fasting except they're hungry and thirsty. And they get nothing from their prayers except they get tired. That's all they get from it. 
Meaning, really they get nothing. Because they have not understood what is really the intention, what is the purpose, what is behind these things. And this is what we mean now by the inner dimensions of worship. What is, what are these acts of ibadah? What are they supposed to do for us? Are they just supposed to be outward actions? We always go and ask, you find people will ask the scholars, Oh, it's the same question over and over and over again in Ramadan. Am I allowed to use the miswak when I'm fasting? We hear the same question every year. Am I allowed this? Am I allowed this? They're asking these questions about this aspect. And, but you never hear people, hardly ever, asking the question about how can I make my Ramadan really transform me and change me and make me a better person and bring me closer to Allah. Because isn't that what it's supposed to be about?